sometimes it really is as simple as just writing what you'd want down on a piece of paper. What's going on in our mind is most of the time we are worrying about things and trying to predict and control outcomes and there's so much going on in our brain all the time. And then sometimes we have these little moments of realization or light bulb moments of like, oh, this is what I want or it would be really cool if this this happened or if I could just uh, do this, that, that would be really great, or I'd love to manifest this thing, or I'd love to have this type of experience. But then five minutes later, we're having a conversation with someone, or we're freaking out about something, and those thoughts just kind of disappear. So getting everything you want and desire and would like to experience or create onto a piece of paper is very, very valuable because once you have it all written down in one space, there's something very, very beautiful and magical about just having it down. Sometimes you realize that what you wanna create or what you want is actually a lot more simple than you'd think. Automatically, your intuition will start giving you little baby steps or little ideas on how it is you can create what it is you wanna create. So sometimes we overcomplicate, we overanalyze, and we overthink like way in the future, like all the steps of what it is we wanna manifest, and we stop because we think we don't have enough time, or we don't have enough energy, or we don't have enough resources, or we don't have enough support, or we don't have enough money or something. But when you can get everything written out, the little baby steps will become evident to you. Like all the little things you need to do to get the support or to get the energy or to make space um, or to help relieve the stress so that you can take the next step. Like all that kind of stuff can reveal itself to you. And also through a vision board. Remember when you were a child, you didn't think like, oh, there's no way I can be a ballerina because I'd have to go to an elite ballerina school and it would cost so much money and I'd have to travel all the way to New York and I'd have to, when you're a little kid, you just think like, I'm gonna be a ballerina, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put on my tutu and I'm gonna dance around right now and I'm just, I'm gonna do that. And so there's a message for you about allowing yourself to dream a little. Sometimes the biggest paths start with the tiniest little actions. So what tiny little action can you do today to start the path? Like allow yourself to dream without squashing those dreams. I remember years ago when I was gonna start this YouTube channel, like telling like a friend of mine that I was going to start this channel and them telling me like, they were like nice, but they were also like, well, you know, did you think about how, how oversaturated YouTube is and how hard it is to like get big on YouTube and like, is that really gonna make you money? And is that really gonna be worth it? And like, I remember telling them like, I, I don't really care about that. I just wanna have fun. And ironically, here I am years later, making a very good living for myself off of YouTube. And I don't even have like a million subscribers or anything. It's not about that. It's about me. It's about my dreams. It's about having fun. It's about chilling with you guys. It's about giving myself something to do when I wake up every day that I enjoy. And so, you know, maybe the reason that you have stopped dreaming is because there's been people in your life that because of their own fears, they're projecting stuff onto you. And because they don't allow themselves to dream, they've like kind of told you or taught you, you shouldn't dream. Sometimes those people can be friends or relatives or your teachers or superiors in life. And so, allow yourself to dream when you were a child nothing stopped you from dreaming like you just did it it's your natural state realize that dreaming is your natural state because you're a creator you're here to create you can create things in this life like how awesome and magical is it to be in this body and to be able to create things and all creations start with an idea in your mind all creations start in your dreams so if you can't dream, you can't create. If you're looking around, you're not liking the life that you're living or what you're manifesting, let yourself dream. And that could be the block is that you're not allowing yourself to dream. So your message for this new moon is to allow yourself to dream a little, whether it's through literally making some time to daydream, 
uh, without judging yourself or writing in your journal or making a list of your manifestations or creating a vision board. And if you're interested in how to create a vision board, just here on YouTube, type in Rainbow Harmony, how to make a vision board. And I have two tutorials I posted on how to make a vision board. So get to it, allow yourself to dream, and you never know what you could think of that could change your life. So I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, and I will see you next time. Peace out.